Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Supercars of London. Now, today I'm uploading this video at the same time as Top Gear would normally be aired on BBC Two here in the UK, but because it is not on this week, I thought that I would substitute it for a little video that I've been doing um, here in central London. Now, I don't mean that this is a substitute to Top Gear because it's such an epic TV show. This is more just a substitute to the fact that there's not gonna be any sort of car show on Sunday evening. And I'm standing outside Porsche Mayfair in central London today um, for no other reason than this is where I've decided to meet up with a friend of mine who has just bought a brand new Lamborghini Huracan and he's willing to take me out so that we can do a cool little video of talking about what this car is all about and I'm not 100% convinced that the Lamborghini Huracan I am a fan of. I quite like the front, the side on is quite good as well but the back is um, not to my cup of tea but also I'm just not sure that it's what Lamborghini should be making at the moment. I much prefer the Lamborghini Aventador with the doors up and uh, the huge V12 engine. So I'm going to be hanging around here until the Lamborghini arrives and then we're going to be going out in it and I'll be giving you um, my sort of review of what this car is like. It's the first time I've ever been up close and inside a Lamborghini Huracan and I think the most important bit for this video for myself is the fact that the Lambo Huracan and the new Audi R8 V10 Plus are all on the same chassis and um, once the chassis was built Lamborghini went and did their thing, Audi went and did their thing and the statistics are pretty much exactly the same. The V10 Plus is almost as fast as the Huracan so this um, is a little teaser of potentially what the Audi R8 V10 Plus could be like. So um, I'm just gonna hang around here now and wait for it to arrive outside Porsche. Immediately out of the cold, my ears are slowly warming up here. I'm with City Supercars in their brand new 2015 Lamborghini Huracan and it is a beautiful place to sit. I wasn't expecting it to be so luxurious in here with leather Alcantara, Beautiful spec, red leather, white at exterior, and um, I'm already falling in love with it. I said just before on camera, I wasn't a big fan of the exterior looks, but now uh, I'm inside. This is seriously cool. And what I said on camera basically was that the chassis of this car is essentially what was given to Lamborghini and Audi for the new R8 V10, but also the Huracan. So I'm really intrigued to find out what this, what Lambo have done with the chassis compared to what um, Audi have done, because essentially so many people get confused that, oh, they're the same company, they're owned by VW Group and they make the same cars. But there are similarities, <laughs> but you get the best of both worlds, I yeah. think, in my opinion. And you can either go for the Lamborghini, which is a bit harder, and it's a bit more tuned up and with a wow factor as well with a bit of a wow factor or you can go for the Audi and have a more day-to-day -day driver but certainly with this generation compared to Gallardo LP560 this can be both yeah. whereas with the Gallardo it was a pain to drive every day it was not practical it did not you know the reliability wasn't there so the Audi R8 was quite a believable option yeah but with this you know if you've got the money this does everything for you you wouldn't wouldn't need it obviously if if you're in a bit of a budget, then the R8 is 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 great. Uh, we're getting lots and lots of people pointing, staring. Maserati going past as well. <laughs> and that's the thing with the Lambo. And yeah. a lot of people know that my second supercar is coming. Obviously, I've got the V8 R8 at the moment. And um, the LP560 is a car that I am looking to get next because it's sort of within that budget and that realm. And I do know that the, the drawbacks of owning that car is the single clutch gearbox. The, uh, the dated technology, the dated interior, whereas this, honestly, I can't get over the... Uh, this is, for me, this is two generations ahead of the Garda LP560. It's, it's like it jumped a generation. Exactly. Not just the quality inside, but the reliability, you know, the level of, of build quality, everything is top, top end. And it, interestingly, with the same engine, pretty much, effectively, as, yeah. as the last generation, but... New gearbox is fiddling about a bit, yeah. and it's it's another world. It really <laughs> is. Didn't miss out too much in January, February, March. No. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you feel the 610 brake horsepower. <laughs> it's, it's there, but it's it's so it's so much faster than the previous generation. But normally you you it's don't manageable. Feel it. It's manageable, and a lot of people say it's not as violent, vicious as the previous generations. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's got the best of both worlds. You know, you can relax. You know, if I put it into street mode now. So Strada. This is gonna auto start, stop at the lights, which is great. It's just, you know, 
It's well, good for what? For fuel. fuel now that I've told me. you, it hasn't done it specifically this time. <laughs> Normally, oh, good old Lambo. Yeah, good old Lambo. <laughs> Normally, it's, it, it's, it starts, stops, and you just sit there quietly at the lights, and no one notices. And then, if you want to, you can put your foot down, you know. But you, when you're spending two hundred thousand pounds on a car, it should be built well. It should have very top end quality materials, which perhaps in the previous generations it didn't. And uh, I think as some of the reviewers have thought that as a negative. Yeah, that's what I sort of. I, I got from, especially the Top Gear one, obviously everyone watches Top Gear and that's why people are tuning into this video tonight because Top Gear's not on and we wanted to give someone or a viewer the more well-rounded, actually more unbiased opinion on Lamborghini. That's the thing, there's a difference between reviewing something for an hour and reviewing it after living with it. Exactly, and yeah. A, a real review is for someone who's going to buy it and own it and what is it like to own it. Yeah. You know, that that's a little bit different. But this is so cool, this set love. So we can flick through. So it's, it's turned off now, so I've lost power to yeah. it. Now it comes on when I take my foot off. And what we'll do is we can flick through the modes. So we can have fully, when you really care about your revs, which to be honest, I'm not too bothered. <laughs> because the gearbox <laughs> handles everything. So uh, then we can have the normal mode, which is a bit of both. Yeah. Or better for me around central London is it's just having see full sat what's going on. Yeah. And we can flick through that menu using this. It took me a few days to get used to it. So this gives us the car menu, which is uh, all the options we need, etc. Telephone, nav, music, Bluetooth, everything from your phone. You know, you've got your, your music from your phone, you've got the calls coming in. It just works nicely. Thank God. Yeah, it's over there. Oh, we've got an R8 and a Super And check out behind us. What's behind us? Jag. Jeez, we're so we've got a Lambo V10 in an R8, we've got probably one of the last generation Gallardos as well. With a silly Halford wing. <laughs> and then we're in the LP610-4 Hurricane. He's moving. He's moving. <laughs> Where's he going? He's going, he's in there. I think he's late to pick up his missus, so he's pushing. <laughs> So in front, 570 brake, single clutch gearbox, track focus Lambo versus the the new generation. That's the car you don't want to be driving through London. <laughs> this is the car you really want to be driving through London. This is such a nice place to sit, so much more comfy than the Gallardo as well, just from the seats. I think by the end of this review, I'm gonna convince you to get a new R8 rather than an old Land LB560, <laughs> honestly. Ready? Yep. Let's actually film my reaction. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Gonna get me into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's getting out of the way, thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs>
Just another day chilling in London. <laughs> it's a bang idea. Yeah. So we pulled over in the 2015 Lamborghini Huracan uh, for a spot of lunch on a Saturday afternoon with the sun coming out. And one of the coolest features about getting back into the Lamborghini, you're greeted with a fantastic um, little touch that I was shown by City Supercars. Um, once you unlock the door, which I will ask City Supercars to do now, the door handle opens for you to step into the cockpit of the 610 brake horsepower rocket. Let's find out how uh, manageable this car is in tight spaces. Easy. Easy. It's because it's so small. You, you're going to hear BAM! <laughs> <laughs> But this video for me was really to understand what Lambo have done, where they're going in terms of the future. I wasn't convinced that Lamborghini were doing it right with the Huracan until we've well, had a half an hour drive and now we're going to be heading back into central London. It is an awesome, awesome vehicle and the fact that it's got the Lamborghini badge on, I'm back in love with Lamborghini. The Aventador amazing car, probably slightly too common in central London, the Gallardo, way too dated now, and uh, now that the Hurricane is here, it's just seriously, seriously exciting to know where Lamborghini are going once, uh, what well, when they replace the Aventador. How, how are we getting on? <laughs> <laughs> it's no problem, there you go. Now I'm reversing blind. <laughs> reversing blind, <laughs> tucking the wing mirrors in. It is tight. Jesus. Who says Lamborghini is unpractical? That's fine. <laughs> Got a man watching us reverse. And two lines. And two lines. <laughs> We've got an underpass here. Shit, red light. <laughs> <laughs> that was a <laughs> Success, I <think. laughs> Much better success. That gets my stomach. One last acceleration and reaction. I'll turn the camera on myself and then we will pull over and wrap up cool. this video. Yeah. Bang it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can just never get bored of that and we've got a person taking pictures there. And an Ocado van doing a three point turn. And uh, yeah, if we just pull down here then we just get a bit quiet. Left here? Yeah. Yeah. It would sound amazing. Proper old school Jag. Not old school, but in my sense, old school. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. To summarize, the Lamborghini Huracan is unbelievable. I don't know why I put my doubt in Lamborghini and tried to convince myself that the Ferrari 458 was an awesome car. Well, it is an awesome car, there's no doubt about it, but the Huracan for me is just, it's just that slightly bit more advanced. But much better technology and the interior is just a wonderful place to sit. Huge thanks to City Supercars for um, allowing me the time in this car and hopefully um, this video will be long enough for you guys to get a good perspective of what the Hurricane's all about. 
and also how much fun we've had today. And Great, thank you very much. That is a, awesome. a good substitution for Top Gear. Anytime. <laughs> Same time next week. Same time next week. Catch us soon. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, like it. If you don't, then um, I don't really know what I can do to make <laughs> make you like the video. Um, Jeremy Clarkson, that's what you need yeah, to do. Well, Jeremy yeah. we'll Someone do did comment actually saying, if you can make it an hour long and have Jeremy Clarkson in the substitution, then uh, you win. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try. Yeah. Cheers, guys. See you soon.